What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Boss Ross Gaming, episode two of our Seattle Seahawks franchise. So, give you a little bit of an overview before we get into the game this week. I believe we play, I don't know who, but that's not important because we're gonna look at some transactions. Now, you guys might have been wondering like, hey, who ended up where? I'm not gonna show you every single thing because there's a lot of stuff and we even made some moves and i'll be glad to show you guys i was a little bit upset with how we performed defensively and it's not like we could go get you know the best of the best and i don't want to neglect our young players are trying to develop here but just a one year hopefully stop gap solution so we don't go 0 and 17 that is the goal here so i will point out the big ones that i saw through here falcons right here sign linval joseph you guys can pause on any time if you want to look at everything that happened aj bouye boye went to the saints uh donta hightower went to the saints cam newton signed with the texans i was i was very surprised by that i was thinking whoa that's kind of weird the Jets signed blake martinez eric flowers went to the Ravens, da, na, 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 na. Uh, JPP signed with the 49ers. That's crazy with how deep that rotation is going to be over there. That's actually kind of insane. Pernell McPhee and Anthony Hitchens going to the Commanders. Brian Bulaga, that's how you say his name, went to the Jags. D Ford also did. Jake Fromm, Quentin Spain, they signed a whole bunch. Of, maybe I should have signed somebody week one. I don't know. Jamie Collins went to the Panthers. Uh, oh, there's Danny Trevathan. Kurt Benkert. Twitch streamer, Kurt Binkert. Cole Beasley went to the Eagles. Speaking of the Eagles, they made an interesting trade, which you'll see. Marcus Cannon went to the Dolphins. Josh Seltzner. Who? Bobby Massey. I know that name. Andy Janovich. Janovich? I don't know. Uh, went to the Cardinals. Kansas City signed Michael Kendricks and Austin. In real life, didn't they let him walk and then they just re-signed him? There's, that can't be real. Tell me if I'm tripping. I'm pretty sure he played for Kansas City. Brett Hunley. Signed with the Packers. Okay. Matt per Paradis. Paradis. Went to the old Raiders. I signed Dennis Kelly. You guys saw that, though. I hope. Gerald McCoy went to the Broncos. Malik Jackson went back to the Broncos. The Giants signed Chris Harris Jr. Mm. That's okay. So this is, we're into week two now. Cardinals signed Brian Poole. Quentin Boana. I know that name. Jaquiski Tart signed to the... Didn't he play for the 49ers? Tariq Cohen went to the Dolphins. Josh Lambo went to the Cowboys. Okay. I try to do this every week so you guys can see what's going on. AJ Klein. Eric Fisher signed with the Colts. Bednark McKinney signed with the Giants. LJ Fort is a new Ram. I don't know who LJ Fort is. Brett Kern's going to the Bears. I know I know Brett Kern. Everson Griffin signing with the Jags. It's interesting to see what the CPU does, you know? It's just really neat. Landon Collins is a Falcon. Eric Ebron and Odell Beckham Jr. are Chargers. Where in the heck are they going to play them? That was my big thing, is the Chargers signed Eric Ebron and O. B. J. That's wild. However, we made a couple moves ourselves 15 minutes ago. I signed Michael Brockers to be our new starting D tackle. We signed Xavier Rhodes, and he's going to be our new starting cornerback. And hopefully these two will just give us a little boost. He's a boost. He's a replacement because if you go look at trades, we traded our third cornerback, who was very unhappy anyway, to the Jags for a fifth round pick. And then we traded Al Woods, our starting D tackle, to the Chargers for a fifth round pick. So we've got some more fifth round picks. I might try to bundle those and move those around. But here's the interesting trade, okay? So you see right there, the Eagles traded Javon Hargrave to the Cardinals for Eno Benjamin and Marquise Brown. So in real life, they just traded for Marquise Brown, but in Madden, they're like, hmm, not gonna work. So they package Marquise Brown and Eno Benjamin for defensive tackle Javon Hargrave. Weird, wild, I don't get it. So now the Eagles, I don't know, it's just weird. But anyway, I'll try to check every week to show you guys what's going on. I'll show you guys the moves that I make. Those are the big things that we did. We signed Michael Brock and we traded our starting older defensive tackle for fifth round pick and then we traded our slot slash backup corner for a fifth round pick i was finding teams that needed these things i wasn't just like oh who will give me the best fifth round pick i was trying to get fourth i started with third i almost got a third round pick kind of and then i re was really close to a fourth round pick but we're going to do our prep i went to scout unless i'm missing something i don't know if there's a way to like scout until i saw like week three and week eight we can dive into specific players and i don't think i can change my scouts if i can i will because i have some bad ones but hey my best one scouts quarterbacks and we're probably gonna end up getting a quarterback so let's go discuss facing a rival star player oh we play the niners yo we're gonna get rolled i just i don't have hope 
for anything good. Facing a bitter rival in the 49ers this week, limiting the impact of George Kittle must be a top priority. How will you stop him? You know what, listen, I am not about to talk trash. I'm not about to challenge. We are bad. We're just gonna praise him. He's a fantastic player, and I don't think there's a way you can truly stop him. Your only hope is to slow him down. Pray doesn't wreck your game, you know? <laughs> it's so true. Just get the W beat the 49ers. We could, we could pull off some magic. Also, we are gonna let Geno Smith start. I don't know if it's smart, but we're gonna let him start, okay? Also, our standings right here, if you guys can see that, the Niners and Cardinals won their week one games. Rams and us lost, so, you know, we're only one game back. Oh, last week he had seven for 71 and a touchdown. So let's make sure our strategy set here. We want to defend, not the outside run. Okay, they have Trey Lance. I think we're gonna contain quarterback scramble here because I think if we make Trey Lance pass, that is our best shot at beating him. Hopefully we can get some tremendous downpours out here, just like Chicago had to beat him. I think that's what we need. Now our offensive game plan, we're gonna have to go I think we need to run the ball. I don't like Fred Warner, though. I want us to go... I want to go inside or outside. Our tackle on the right's a little suspect, but our guard on the right is better than our guard on the left, but we have a more solid tackle on the left. I trust my guards more than my tackles. We're going to run inside. That's what we're focused on. I like that idea. We're going to focus on these boyos. The team's morale is down across the board, so almost everyone is playing, like, one overall down. So we're adding fatigue. Nice. Yo, who broke their finger? Of course, Sidney Jones breaks his finger. Well, I guess I'm glad we signed fluffing Xavier Rhodes. I didn't even look at the other side. Well, shoot, 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 shoot. Hey, two dudes who I don't even knew were on the team. Okay, uh, we're just gonna, you know what? We'll just let you get good in one area because that's the only way you're gonna find time. Let's go John Radigan. He sounds like he could own a law firm. Radigan and Sons, you know? Uh, let's see, what Penny Hart. That's too bad it's not Percy Harvin. We can make him, you know what? Let's make him playmaker. There's a scheme fit there. Let's go. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Plus two catching. a boy. You won't be have any playing time. Also, you see in the top 51 out of 53, after I signed, I moved a couple players down to the practice squad. I don't know if I'm moving back. We're just probably gonna chill with what we got, so. Um, let's go look at the injury report because our boy broke his finger. Yo, L, yo. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go look. Who's hurt? Oh, Cody Thompson tore his rotator cuff. I don't know if that's recent or not, but he's probably out for the year. We have a center. Austin Blythe has a PCL sprain. I don't know if he can. He's out one week. Oh, sweet heavens. Oh, sweet, sweet heavens. LJ Collier, fractured elbow. He's out three weeks. Okay, that's not terrible. Tyreek Smith has a fractured hip. He's, <laughs> he is out, out. And then John, wait, John Radigan, we just powered you up and you have a torn bicep. Oh, you're coming back in three weeks though. And then Ben Burr Curvin. First of all, you are a pale, pale man. And you fractured your kneecap. I'm sorry, Ben. Ben Burr Curvin, a cornerback. And now Cindy Jones is out two weeks. And then we have Trey Brown who is out for four weeks. Injuries are stacking up over here, but you know what? Honestly, we're basically the same team. So I think we're ready to go. We've done what we needed to do. We've got some new additions here. We're going to go play San Fran. Now I'm really keying in on week three and week four. This is where we're going to have to take advantage of playing lesser. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time because I'm recording this before I asked you guys if there's a better way to do it. Here we go. They're in 84, we're 79. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just get to the goods. We don't need to see the opening thing. It's not opening day. All right, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. We need normal speed. Okay, we are going down the field here. Rashad Penny's driving. 26 yard to Marquise Goodwin. We're in the red zone already. We are already starting on a mission. I told these guys before the game, if you want to be here next week, I need to see some change. You remember Al Woods? I don't. He gone. Remember the other cornerback's name? I don't. I cut him. Mike? I don't know. Franklin? I don't know. Johnny? He's gone. He's looking for a job. He's unemployed. And if you want to be unemployed, you play like you did last week. And we have come to play today, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Negative three yard, three yard rush, Rashad. Let's not. And then we got sacked. Okay. Listen. And then he throws a 16-yard touchdown to Tyler Lockett. I'm on the roller coaster right now. I am on the roller coaster. Okay, let's see our first defensive stand here. Okay, that's okay. Let's just settle it down. Let's just settle him down. Maybe we should have defended the, the run. Uh, and there's that guy that looks homeless but is really good at the game. We have done nothing on defense. That's our first positive thing we've done. I'm upset. Please, please. Okay, okay, come on. That's not it. They're in the red zone. Hold them to three, hold them to three. That's all we need. There we go, throw it away. 
That wasn't good. All right, tie game. Tie game, that's all right. If we score every time, then we'll win, hopefully. See how we do this time. Yes, run that football. We're focusing on the run. Charles Cross, you're making me sad. Geno Smith, you're making me more upset. And you threw it away eight times. Nice. Now we're going to punt. And now it's looking like Denver all over again. Our defense is atrocious right now. It is so bad. It is so bad. <gasps> we stopped them. Give us the ball back, Mitch. Wishnowski. Atta boy. Wait. I was about to say, well, that's not our player. Hopefully he's just downing it, not taking it. Rashad, we will run with Rashad Penny, and we will pass to DK Metcalf, and then we will throw it away. Run the ball. Oh, Kinlaw injured? Oh, I hope he's okay. My man Rashad Penny knows two things. Okay? He knows six-yard runs, and he knows alphabet soup. I don't know. He knows, I don't know. I don't know. I believe in you. I don't. Well, um, maybe I should have done bl Blitz Protection. Blitz Pickup. I might change that at halftime if I have the option. Listen, our defense becomes stout. Be strong. Stop him. I, I Focus on him. Oh my gosh. They're just chunking the, our life away one at a time. I'm glad I didn't challenge him. That would have been very upsetting. Third and one. Be strong. Man. They they got another first down with the exact same thing. Puna Ford! He's a goat. He's a king. He's so good. I was going to sign... I was going to sign uh, Ndamukong Sue, but he's a right in, and I don't take snaps away from Puna Ford because he had two sacks week one, and I want to try to see if he can keep being great. And right there, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some potential in him, even though he just stopped him. Third and nine. Cody Barton? I don't even know you and you got a sack. We are, we are playing today, boys. This is not Denver. This is not Denver. Kenneth Walker, get involved. Charles Cross? Charles Cross? I don't know about you. <gasps> Col Colby Parkinson, our third string? Wait, I don't know. He might be our third string tight end. I think that's right. Oh, well, we're just... Oh, Javon Kinlaw, you are okay. Now I wish you were hurt. Did we run the ball... On 4th and 20, or 3rd on 20. I'm very confused what just happened. Did we just run the ball on 3rd and 20 with DK Metcalf? I am very confused. Come on, D. Come on, defense. Let's go! Gino, I, I need you right now to lead this team. I need you to get Tyler Lockett involved. Okay, or Marquise Goodwin. I, he, I like him too. There, Hey, there's Tyler. There's Tyler Lockett. Okay, let's get... There we go. Let's go. Eat the clock. Kick a field goal. Win the game. Please run the football. Please run the football. Why are we passing... Are we going for it on fourth down? Okay, we're not. We took a three. I like that. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with three. Also, our kicker has been really solid. I don't think he's missed a field goal. I could be wrong, but... All right. Here we go. We're, we're doing a little better. They're not getting those six and seven yard runs. Now it is three and four at a time and it's still consistent, but, and now it's back. You know what? We, I was going to shut up. Jordan Brooks. Yo, he is a baller. We got to keep him around. We got to keep him happy. And there goes George Kittle for 15. Well, they're in field goal range. Let's see if we can just keep them there or force a turnover. Perhaps it's third and 10. Come on. Why is George... Why is George Kittle still catching the football? Are we dumb? And just like that, depression. Depression is here. Now listen, here's what I'll say. We just need to go get points that way we're still in the game. We just need to go get points. I don't care if it's 7, I don't care if it's 3, but we need points. It's 4th and 13, so like, we're not... I, my speech was longer than our drive. That's an issue, and I will address that. We got to lock up. We cannot let them drive down the field. We can not 
let this happen. We are in the fourth quarter. There we go. Second and 13. This is our stop right here. This is our stop right here. Third and 11. Please lock them up. There we go. Fourth and two. Fourth and two. Touchback. Drive and score. We got to have a touchdown here. This Now we can't have a field goal. We got to go. We got to go. DK Metcalf, I love you. Keep balling. And then we fumbled. You know what? This team builds me up just to break me back down again. I you know, Whole new team next week. I don't know who I'll have to trade for who. They may be a bunch of 59s, but it'll hurt less. Oh my gosh. Hold hold them to three. Just just let me be heartbroken one more time. Luna Ford, please do something. All right, we stop them. They'll take three. Let's score. Let's go to overtime. Marquise Goodwin. Let's go. Tyler Lockett. Yes. Tyler Lockett. Marquise Good. I should let him throw the ball. Oh, there's still a minute and a half. I'm nervous. But hopefully they'll be throwing the ball, and I think we've done a little bit better containing the pass. I don't know. I might be wrong. Come on. There it is. Two more stops. That's not a stop. Josh Jones, I am suing you for emotional damages. We're going to lose. We're losing by three. We're going to lose. We blocked it! <gasps>
That's all we care about. Let's go look at the 49ers, see how they did. Just curious. Trey Lance, 17 for 27. He was okay. That's what I wanted. I wanted Trey Lance to have to pass the ball to beat us. Uh, Elijah Mitchell had 55 yards on 15 attempts. Trey Lance had 7 for 27. Davis Price, 7 for 26. They run the ball. Brandon Ayuk had 6 carries. George Kittle, 6 for 79. You know what? All in all, I'll take it, but you gotta keep in mind, I'm playing 6 minute quarters, so you know, just double that and that's how much he would have destroyed me. Wait, is Debo Samuel hurt? I need to go look at them. Nick Bosa had two and a half sacks. Two and a half. Armstead had half a sack. Dre Greenlaw had half a sack. Fred Warner had half a sack. Kinlaw had half a sack. JPP had half a sack. No interceptions. Only one deflection, but also by JPP. Man, what a what a signing by them, honestly. And then, yeah. We did it, guys. We won. We're one and one right now. We only need to win three more games. Also, I did my staff goals a lot easier to hit so we get more points because, you know. Oh, we also did not get an interception. Interesting. Damian Lewis. You know what? You need this, my guy. You need it a lot. I'm increasing your pass protection. We're gonna round you out, bro. You need this. You need this. Let's go. We did that. We won that game. I would love to talk about the results of the game right now. A winner soak over a loss for 24 hours when you beat one of your most hated rivals. Think it's okay to spend an extra 24 hours basking in that glory. We're basking, baby. Entire team has earned 2,500 XP. <sighs> Feels good. And now guess what? Now we're not in last place. We have upgrades available. Let's see if we can upgrade old Pete. I don't think I can. I think he's too old. I think I can. I don't know who we can upgrade. Let's let's upgrade that again. Why not? That seems cool. Nice. Maybe I shouldn't have upgraded that. I don't know. I'm just kind of going by the uh, the seat of my pants here. Let me go look at the injury report. I'm gonna go look at the Seahawks. And I need to do this too before, or not Seahawks. Jeez, the 49ers. I need to do this before I play everybody. Oh, snap. So Jimmy Ward has a groin tear. Mike McGlinchey has turf toe. Debo has a compound foot fracture. He's out like the, almost the whole year. Jason Verrett has a complete ACL tear. Trent Williams was out with a broken finger. Oh my gosh. Mo Hurst has a torn pec. Curtis Robinson. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. It's just like real life. 49ers got the injury bug, man. Wow. Let's go. We needed. I, I don't want them to be hurt in real life, but in the game, it's fine. Let's sim to next week. All right. We're tied for first. I mean, everybody is technically. We're all one and one in the NFC West. We play a much worse team. Ooh, okay. So now we have some college stuff going on here. Let's see. Bryce Young. Paris Johnson. Anderson. Okay. I But Listen, I kind of want to be bad so I can draft CJ Stroud. I mean, if he wants to fall down there, I'm super down. I'm super down for him to fall that far. If CJ Stroud wants to be, you know, like right there, I'll... I'll I'll take him. I don't think we'll be the worst team. I think we'll end up with a top five, maybe six to 10. If we end up outside of the top 10, I will be shocked. Okay, so this is mock draft one. I don't know if that means round one or round two or just different people have different. Oh. There's just different mock drafts. Any other quarterbacks in the first round besides... Oh, wait. So I'm going to take CJ Stroud, but I'm also going to take Anthony Richardson. Hmm? Excuse me? I would not... Why would I take both? Why would I take both? I'd be fine taking Anthony Richardson, but I'd rather have CJ Stroud. Potentially four quarterbacks going in the first round. Potentially. Potentially. You can assign to three area scouts. Players with the position you select see a 15% bonus. Or mismatch between your scouts expertise and a region's position strengths. Oh, well, this will be interesting because I don't know what I'm doing. Expertise, D-tackle, interior offensive. Oh, let's do interior offensive lineman. I like that. I'm just gonna, you know what? I don't know what to look for here because he's good at wide receivers and tight ends. Let's look at wide receivers. Tanner, I don't care about Tanner Mickey. Yo, I'm, I'm looking for offensive tackles. Maybe that's what I'll draft. Hopefully I can get the, the offensive tackle and I can get a QB. Do uh, offensive tackle. I, I Even though my scouts suck, at least they have like different areas of expertise. And then Matthew Hudson, he's got an outside linebacker in safety. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I should look at safety or not. I do feel like outside linebacker is an area of need for me though. So we're going to look at outside linebackers. And there are some here, but Bryce Young is also there. But I'm going to wait for my national scout because he is best. He's my best one and he's best at quarterback. Probably going to go Bryce Young on that one. So, all right. We have set our scouts in motion, I think. I'm learning as I'm going. Four players ready to negotiate contracts. People want to stay here. Well, let's see who I want to stay here. I don't. Xavier Rhodes, I don't want you to stay here. So like, that's fine. Michael Brockers, I, you can walk too. Rashad Penny. Now here's what I don't know. I don't know if Rashad Penny is a good signing or if I should just go with Kenneth Walker. Start with Sidney Jones. Only just your contract offer. He's the new presets to quickly craft. I best. Uh, okay. So he says, I don't know. Post market value. The player may not accept. Okay. Player friendly, low risk. So two years, 2.5. Team friendly, player friendly. Cat. 
training cap. Oh, my cap is, he's so cheap. He wants 4.3 per year. Okay, I'm fine with 4 million a year for Sidney Jones because I feel like he could be okay. Like 4 million a year for a cornerback and a dude who's solid, I feel like is okay. So we're gonna go, you know, let's just make it two years and let's make it, he wants 4.3, I'll give you four. I'll give you a two milli bonus. That's fine. You're a cheap cornerback. Let's go, Sidney Jones is here. And we only have him for two years. I don't know why me re-signing somebody made less interested in Michael Brockers, but you can actually just kick fluffing rocks. Everyone's happy now. I don't know about Rashad Penny. I'm gonna think about it. Puna Ford, I actually want you to stay. I don't care about these two and I'm gonna wait. Let me see what he wants. He wants three years. Okay, he only wants four mil a year and I could use him as potential trade bait. Let's just go player friendly. Let's offer him a little bit less. If he doesn't want it, it's fine. If he doesn't want it, it's fine. Four years, 2.4 million. Boom, easy, simple. Let's do it. He signed, super cheap. Good running back for a little while. I'm not going to negotiate the other two because they're old and they're going to walk. So that's that. I already did the scouting, the weekly strategy. Okay, we're playing the Falcons. We want to limit short or actually, you know what? Same thing with Mariota. Let's make him beat us by not scrambling. That worked with Trey Lance. It's got to work with Mary Goat, uh, Mariota. Sorry, what happened? We cannot throw out AJ Terrell, but do I keep focusing on the run inside? I kind of want to throw deep. Gina was slinging it pretty well. You know what? I'm gonna let Gino throw the ball. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Start training. Hopefully nobody gets injured. If, if people keep getting injured, I'm probably not gonna do training. Cause like, this is a bunch of baloney. Everyone's fine. Everyone's good. Nobody needs to go to the injury list. Offense, everyone's fine. No one's hurt. We're all chilling. We all had a good time. Nobody broke their finger. Nice. And now let's go upgrade players. Gonna upgrade some guys. Hey, Trey Brown, that's good. We're gonna upgrade your slot. Cause that's where you fit in the scheme. I like it. He's got the fracture kneecap. It's fine. LJ, you got the broken stuff too. Let's just keep making you a power rusher. That's fine. That's what you specialize as. That's fine. Please don't hurt your elbow anymore. We have lots of players to upgrade. Let's make you hybrid. Josh Jones. Nice. I love upgrading people. It makes me feel so good. Ryan Neal. Let's make you hybrid. I got these hybrids out here. I got some Priuses running around, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, it's Ben Burkirvin. Ben, you gotta find a role before I can start improving everything, okay? You gotta find a role. There's so many people here. We're, we've gotta upgrade your pass protection, Phil. If you want, if you ever want a shot in the league, okay? We gotta improve that. Holy cow, okay, Are you a playmaker? You know what? Be a playmaker. You have a very smooth head, okay? I bet if I poured water on top of you, there wouldn't be a drop left. I would just run all the way down. Yo, Drew Log getting an upgrade? Uh-oh. Possession, yep, that's okay. Your third string, I love the eye black. You have gigantic arms. The only thing I want you to possess is that football. Through lock. Let's improve the field general. We need to improve your accuracy. There we go. And your awareness. Joey Blunt. Blount. All these dudes are going to be hybrids. Look at all these. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. So many upgrades here. We're going to make you, let's make you a 90 physical and then we'll work on your playmaking because you're going to be here a while. DK, you're going to be here a while. Jordan Brooks. I love this guy. He's got lots of potential. He's gonna be great. Prove your field general skills. I wanna see you block shedding. I wanna see the play rec. I wanna see some tackling. I wanna see some zone coverage. And that's what I got. Crazy how I get what you ask. Shelby Harris had a good week last week. Let's include the speed rushing because I'm gonna need you to get to the QB some more. We need some more pressure. Got Michael Brockers to shut things down in the run game. My boy Nwasu, speed rush. Keep it going. We're gonna specialize you a little bit. We need speed. Charles Cross, you had a rough week by getting him on the field. He plays. We have, yeah, we gotta improve your, uh, your pass protection here because you got me to live little too much for my liking last week. Jason Myers, who had a really, really, really good week. Let's get this accuracy up to 70. There it is. Plus one awareness, plus one accuracy. We like that. And we're almost done. Just three more to go here. Let's even out power rushing and your speed rushing. Let's make you well-rounded. Cody Barton, you actually, you had a sack last week, so. Make you run stopper. You already know how to hit the quarterback. I just need you to stop the dudes running the football. And then Jamal Adams. Hello, Jamal. We need you to improve. You know, let's make your zone 92. We need you to be better as a defender of the pass. And we did it. Everyone's upgraded. Everyone's happy. We want to game. See if anything happened in week three. We re-signed, we re-signed. The Bucks re-signed Levante David. Cardinals re-signed JJ Watt and Rodney Hudson. Chiefs re-signed Orlando Brown. Colts re-signed Quentin Nelson, which he got a way bigger bag than this game gave him. Cowboys re-signed Dalton Schultz. Interesting. Dolphins re-signed Mike Gusecki. Gusecki? I don't know. And Melvin Ingram. Eagles re-signed Jason Kelsey. 49ers re-signed Jimmy Ward. Giants re-signed Saquon. Jags re-signed Josh Allen. Pack agreed with Adrian Amos. Damian Harrison, the Patriots. Josh Jacobs. And Denzel Perryman. The Raiders. Ravens re-signed Lamar Jackson to a six-year, $256 million contract. They couldn't get it done in real life. But Madden came through. Trends re-signed Darren Payne. Cole Hulk. 
Holcomb. Bengals re-signed Von Bell. Steelers re-signed Terrell Edmonds. Titans re-signed Amani Hooker. Bears re-signed Roquan Smith and David Montgomery. Ooh, the Dolphins traded a seventh round draft pick. The Brown, wait, wait, the Dolphins traded a first round pick and a seventh round pick to the Browns. So the Browns got a first and a seventh for Kareem Hunt. Why on God's green earth did they trade for a running back? Dolphins trade Andrew Van Ginkle to the, okay, so wait, wait, they traded Van Ginkle, a first round pick and a seventh round pick for Kareem Hunt. Holy crap. The Jets traded Bryce Huff to the Vikings for Jordan Hicks and I don't know how to say his name. Nice. The Jets at least Ty Johnson. Brown signed T.Y. Hilton and Isaiah Thomas. Raiders signed Will Fuller. Raiders released DJ Turner. The Giants signed Blake Jarwin. Signed free agent Jared Cook. Released Kyle Rudolph. Jags signed Tony Jefferson and a kicker. The Cardinals released Indomitian Sue. Titans signed Mike Rimmers. Titans released Randy Bullock. Released Zaire Franklin. Wait, the Cardinals signed him and then released him. That's got to kill the cap, right? The Cardinals released Desmond Trufant. Ooh, okay. A lot of stuff happening here. Released Juju Hughes. Signed Jalen Smith. Giants signed Patrick Carter Coughlin. They was released. Michael Lee, Michael Kendricks. Wait, they just signed Michael Kendricks. What is happening? Or traded? I don't know. Yo, all these moves are wild. Holy cow. Titans signed a kicker and they released a cornerback signed a kicker released a tight end the Rams keep trying to find a fullback that'll work let me go look at trades see if anything else happened there's that okay that was it that, so those are the trades that happened wow Kareem Hunt is a dolphin and in return the Browns get a first a seventh and Andrew Van Ginkle I'm gonna wrap up the video here we played another game we actually won you guys are kind of seeing what I'm keying in on you guys are seeing the moves I'm probably gonna do some things like I did this time where I do moves off stream and then just kind of go over them. but yeah listen hey we're one and one we have a stretch here where we play Falcons and the Lions and the Saints and the Cardinals we, we could win a couple of these games so you never know Seattle might be moving up and up here we're gonna call the video here if you guys have haven't already please like the video if you guys are new here please subscribe in the comments below keep giving me tips what will make this team better what should i look for what should i trade away what can i get draft pick wise should i move up in the draft like once it's closer give me some ideas in the comments below share it watch the videos before and after this i appreciate you guys i love you guys and i'll see you all next time